from SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Today it's so gorgeous I'm actually wanting to smoke outside. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Um, I'm actually at Ventropolis right now, which is a place in Houston that... It's in the city so you can't smoke inside, but they have a gorgeous patio out here with a fountain. Nice seating, good selection, but do welcome cigars. So I'm having one right now outside. This is a rather special cigar for me. Um, it would be considered a go-to, but it kind of mixes both. It's a go-to and a special occasion cigar. This is the Padron 1964 Anniversary Maduro. Great cigar, beautiful presentation. It may not be the most aesthetic on the on the wrapper itself. It's kind of got a little bit of a rough looking wrapper, but very smooth, a nice box press, and it just smokes so beautifully. The construction's always perfect. You can see it's got a nice colored ash as well. And the flavor profile of the cigar is phenomenal. It's uh, it's very rich. It's got good flavors of like a dark chocolate, some notes of espresso and coffee, and just a good amount of earth. And I think just overall, it's a beautiful cigar with a little bit of a, a hint of maybe a sweetness at the end that kind of makes it a little bit different and stand out from some of the rest. So when I smoke this cigar, I like to do a pairing, and this is one of my favorite pairings, which is the it's a tawny port. Usually I'll do like a Penfolds Grandfather Tawny Port. Right now I'm just doing the regular Penfolds. I think it works very nicely. Uh, I like the nutty kind of flavors of the tawny balanced out with the dark chocolate so it's not too sweet but it kind of plays with that earthiness and makes things a little bit more interesting. I think it enhances the flavor rather than, uh, than a fight against it. It's just such a nice combination. I love pairing drinks with cigars. And port's one of my favorite pairings to do. I don't know, just something so decadent about it. It's got a good flavor profile without being too, depending on the port, too sweet. Uh, it's funny, when I first arrived here and I mentioned what I was smoking, the bartender had recommended I try a ruby port because of the raspberry undertones that it would have going with the dark chocolate tones of this cigar, which I might have to try. I tend to lean on the bitter side of things. I prefer bitter and tart flavors over sweetness. If I like something sweet, it's got to just be a little sweet, not too much. That's a for me, it, it can be too much and overwhelming and compete with things, but for me, a nice tawny port, Padron Anniversary, again, this one's the 64, I think, I mean, I haven't had a bad Padron yet, I don't think they make a bad cigar, they're phenomenal smokes and great for day-to-day -day or special occasions, so, if you haven't tried this pairing before, I highly recommend it, and let me know some of your favorite pairings, too, I'd love to give them a try and discuss and see what we have in common, too. Alright, I'll be talking with you soon, take care!